सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रदीप पवार प्रोफेसर ऑफ एनाटॉमी सो टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द वीनस ड्रेनेज ऑफ द फेस वीनस ड्रेनेज ऑफ द फेस आई हैव आल्सो स्टार्टेड विद एन ऐप एनाटॉमी अनलिमिटेड व्हिच इज अवेलेबल ऑन एंड्राइड फोन्स एनाटॉमी अनलिमिटेड Okay, so here we have. Um, I have finished with the upper limb. I have finished with the lower limb, and slowly, slowly, I am releasing the rest of the topics for you. Okay, so let us discuss about venous drainage of the face. Have a look. <clears throat> I'll just draw a slide for you, and then we see the actual slide. Now. if you can tell me students what is this for the mandible that's a body and what is this for the mandible ramus that's a body of the mandible that's a ramus of the mandible what is this junction known as angle of the mandible angle so that's a body that's a ramus that's the angle of the mandible so let us start with the veins venous drainage of the face now there's a vein about the orbit what do you call this as it's just about the orbit supra or vital vein supra or vital vein and that's a frontal bone the frontal bone has got a pulley here pulley what is that pulley known as trochlea trochlea the vein coming from here is known as a supra trochlear vein so supra or vital and supra trochlear veins joins to form a vein here at the medial angle of the eye the vein formed at the medial angle of the eye is known as the angular vein angular vein now this angular vein continues down as the facial vein the same angular vein now it is known as the facial vein so supra orbital that supra orbital this is supra trochlear joins to form the angular vein the angular vein now goes down as the facial vein what is this region temporal region and there's a vein coming from here students 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 what do you call this vein as the superficial temporal vein from the temporal region that's a superficial temporal vein there's a vein coming from the maxillary region so that's a maxillary vein superficial temporal and maxillary joins to form a vein behind the mandible what do you call this as retro mandibular vein retro mandibular vein divides into two divisions anterior and posterior divisions correct anterior division of retro mandibular joins with the facial vein to form a vein here what's this common facial vein and this common facial vein drains into internal jugular vein internal jugular so so that's a superficial temporal that's a maxillary this is the retro mandibular vein anterior and posterior divisions anterior division joining with facial to form the common facial vein drains into internal jugular vein the posterior division of retro mandibular vein joins with the vein com coming from behind the ear what's that posterior auricular vein and the vein which is formed here is the external jugular vein and this external jugular vein drains into the subclavian vein subclavian vein so that's about the venous drainage of the face clear once again i'll just repeat this that's a supra orbital that's a supra trochlear joins to form the angular vein at the medial angle of the eye the same angular vein now continues as the facial vein that's a superficial temporal this is the maxillary this is behind the mandible retro mandibular vein anterior and posterior divisions anterior division of retro mandibular joining with facial to form the common facial vein drains into internal jugular vein posterior division joining with the posterior auricular vein that's the external jugular drains into the subclavian vein subclavian is this clear students so that's about the venous drainage of the face just have a look at the slide of the venous drainage okay i'll begin i'll start yep what's this now students that's a supra orbital that's a supra trochlear that's the angular vein the angular vein now continues as the facial vein that's the temporalis muscle that's the temporal fossa the vein is superficial temporal vein here is the maxillary vein this becomes the retromandibular vein 
anterior and posterior divisions anterior division of retromandibular joints with facial to form the common facial vein and this common facial vein drains into internal jugular vein the posterior division of retromandibular joints with the posterior auricular vein and this is the external jugular vein and this external jugular vein drains into the subclavian vein subclavian vein i hope this is clear to all of you students i'll just draw something for you what is this if anyone can tell me what is this yes any guesses any guesses what is this that i've drawn yes 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 correct correct yes that's the parotid very good that's a parotid gland that's a parotid so this is a content of the parotid who's the content of parotid the retromandibular vein and its two divisions they lie within the parotid gland right the retromandibular vein and its two divisions they lie within the parotid gland any other content of parotid students that can that you can tell me any other content of the parotid yes 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 what are you saying yes there's a nerve yes correct 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 there's a nerve that's a facial nerve and the facial nerve enters the parotid divides into five branches to supply the muscles of facial expressions so contents of parotid gland from superficial to deep one is the facial nerve second is the retromandibular vein with its two divisions and the deepest content is external carotid artery yes very good external carotid artery enters the parotid gland and divides into two terminal branches the superficial temporal and maxillary very good so contents of parotid once again superficial to deep the facial nerve the retromandibular vein and its two divisions and the deepest is external carotid artery with its two terminal branches thank you students i hope this is clear to all of you the venous drainage of the face the contents of parotid gland you can visit my app anatomy unlimited and get details of the topics from there thank you Thank you.